Last year, when all of New England was suffering from a disease called late blight, I was paranoid about it affecting my tomato crop. So I was super vigilant about pruning, but I might have overdone it a little bit. I got beautiful tomatoes, but I could have used a few more of them. So I'm hoping Danielle can show me the right way to prune. Holy cow, Sarah, your tomato plants have gotten huge. All this late spring heat has really done them wonders. I know, I went on vacation for a week and I came back to this tomato jungle. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing because we're seeing flowers right now, which mm -hmm. means that we really need to get in there and do some tomato maintenance, which means pruning. Great, I got my shears ready. All right, let's do it. On most tomato plants, there are usually some low-lying branches that are so long they touch the ground. To prevent diseases from splashing up from the soil to the leaves, trim back the branches that touch the ground. Remove the branch completely with some shears back to the main stem of the plant. The next part of the tomato plants that you want to prune off is any suckers that appear below the first flower cluster on the plant. A sucker is a little secondary branch that grows out from the intersection of the leaf and the main stem of the plant. Take the suckers between your thumb and forefinger and pinch it out completely. This is called simple pruning. So I'm confused about what exactly constitutes a sucker. Like I can tell when it's, you know, this size, but when it's bigger, I can't necessarily tell it apart from a regular branch. All right, so let me show you a larger sucker and we, there's a different pruning method that you use with those, okay? Okay. So you take this branch right here, for instance. This is a sucker, Sarah. What makes it a sucker, exactly? Where the leaf meets the main stem of the tomato plant and see how it's coming right out of that V? That's a sucker. So why do I want to remove them? Because you don't want the main stem of the tomato plant to be compromised. This sucker will develop into a large, heavy branch and could eventually weigh down the tomato plant and snap the main stem, and that's bad. For these suckers, you want to practice what's called Missouri pruning. With this method, you just snip off the top of the sucker, leaving a few sets of leaves behind. This type of pruning is less shocking to the plant and less threatening because if you remove the entire large sucker, you would leave behind a large open wound on the main stem, which is the perfect entry point for disease. Seems like we're removing a lot of the plants, and I know that's where I went wrong last year. No, actually, this is a fair amount of foliage to remove because ultimately all these different pruning methods are thinning out the tomato plants. And the reason we want to do that is because the leaves will end up shading each other if the plants are too dense. The leaves don't get enough sunshine, they turn yellow, and then they fall off. And that forces the plant to produce more leaves. So what's wrong with producing more leaves? Well, the plant is then wasting energy to produce more leaves instead of producing fruit and ripening fruit. And we want big harvests, right? Sarah? Yes, we do. <laughs> so it seems like these determinate tomatoes in the front have fewer suckers than the indeterminates in the back there. That makes sense, because remember, determinate tomatoes only have a very limited number of stems, whereas indeterminate tomatoes get wild and keep producing more and more and more stems. So you'll do more pruning on those indeterminate tomatoes. So I just want to remove all of the suckers below the first flower cluster? Yep, that's it. And you also want to remove the 3Ds. 3Ds? What, like at the movies? No, it stands for dead, damaged, or diseased leaves. So if you see any of those, Sarah, go ahead and cut them off. So that's it? I just want to keep training them to the stakes as they grow up? Yep, and you want to be on the lookout for any disease that might hit this year, but fingers crossed that won't happen and we'll have a really big harvest. Hey, does June like tomatoes? <laughs> hey, Juno, watch that tail. Come here, we don't need any help pruning the tomatoes. <laughs> 